Okay, so we're back with the next part of the Batman Pixel Art tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and continue it. We're probably going to get a good amount of done because uh, some of it just requires uh, some of these dashes, these little lines here. All right, so let's get started. We're going to go ahead and start working on this empty space that's up here, these empty spaces here. And we're going to go ahead and start off with the gray wall. So let's jump to the gray wall. And we're going to start here at this empty space and what we're going to be doing is finding these four block of coals that are here that went diagonal up to the left we're going to start from the very first block that's down here that went up to the left and starting from this one block what we're going to be doing is starting on top of it so starting from there just place one gray wall so that's one now from there we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right that's one two one and one two two Next, we're going to be placing from here is just three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And once we've done that, we're just going to go ahead and switch over to the black wall now. And with the black wall, we're going to be filling in both of these empty spaces here with the black wall. So just go ahead and fill that in. It's not too large of an area, so I don't have to time lapse it. Although I could have used the potion of swiftness, but that's fine. It's not that large. Okay, so now that we're filling this in, we're going to go ahead and switch it up to, let's see, we'll stay up here. We're going to finish this larger empty space, and then we'll go down here to the chest plate. We're going to go ahead and switch over to, uh, let's say, the sign stain clay. Or it's not even called sign stain clay. Like I mentioned before, like they had an update, so it's called clay, or it's called cyan hardened clay. Pretty much all the clays are called hardened instead of stained now. And just to let you know, I'm not going to be calling them hardened or stain. I'm just going to call them clay from here on out. All right, so let's switch over to the cyan clay. And we're going to head over here to these two block of coals, starting on the right side of it, starting from there, pretty much right next to the area that we filled in. So from here, we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So it should look like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now from here, we're going to be switching over to the, let's see, the stone block. There we go. Forgot that. There we go. Starting on top of this one cyan clay here, we're going to be adding two stones going to the left. So that's one, two. Now, once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the block of coal. We still have some outlining to do with this block. So switching over to the block of coal, starting on the left side of these two stone blocks. So from there, we're going to be adding two block of coals going down. That's one, two. And while we're at it, before we continue, let's just quickly switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here. This space here and that single space down there with gray wool, so let's fill those in with gray. Go ahead and just fill that in. There we go. So it should look exactly like this. All right, now let's switch back over to the block of coal. We're gonna head back to the top block of these two block of coal. So starting from this block here, we're gonna be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. Seven diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks now. And we're going to head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. Now, once we've done that, we're going to quickly switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to be placing one gray wall on the left side of this block of coal. So put one gray wall there. Now we're going to be switching back over to the block of coal starting underneath the gray wall so from there we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right so four diagonal down to the right that's one two three and four 
Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now we're going to quickly switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool... Oops. There we go. Starting from this one block of coal, so from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Now we're going to head back up here to this one block of coal, and we're going to be placing one gray wool on the right side of this block of coal. Let's put one gray wool there, on the right side of that block of coal. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the cyan stain clay, and we're going to be placing one cyan clay underneath the block of coal. Let's put one clay block there. And now we're going to be switching back over to the block of coal. And, whoops, dropped the clay block. And I created a shadow glitch somewhere. Hold on. Okay, so switching over to the block of coal now. Starting underneath this gray wall, this one gray wall up here. So starting from there, we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal down to the left with the block of coal. So five diagonal. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, and five. So that's five blocks that went diagonal. Okay. And let's see, from here, now that we got our five, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And next, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So three diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Get rid of those placement blocks. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now from here, let's just quickly switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to be placing one gray wall on top of the left block of these two stone blocks. Put one block on the left with gray. And then switch back over to the block of coal, starting on the left side of the gray wall. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going up. That's one and two. So it should look like that. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. And now, before we actually move on, let's switch over to the gray wool. Starting on the right side of this block of coal here, so starting from there, right here, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right, or not to the right, up to the left, up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. I almost had you go the wrong direction there. All right, so that's up to the left, so it should look like this with the gray. And now we're going to switch back over to the block of coal. We're going to start underneath this gray wool here. Starting from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the right. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. Or to the left. Ugh, what is wrong with me? I'm rushing. Not really. That's one, two, three, four. That's up to the left, four. Let's get rid of those placements. And let's head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So three diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of that placement block. Now I'm going to fly back a bit. And you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Alright, now what we're going to be doing is... I want to fill in some of these areas here before we... I yeah, before we actually continue moving on with some layers. So, what we're going to be doing is switching over to, let's say, the gray wool. Let's outline some stuff first. Let's go back over here to these three block of coals that we have going across. Underneath them, we're just going to be placing three gray wools going across. So that's one, two, three. Now from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So two diagonal, that's one and two. And let's see, from here, what we're going to be doing next is let's switch over to the cyan clay, and we're just going to continue going down to the right, and we're going to go to these two block of coals that we had going across. On top of these two, we're going to be placing two cyan clays going across, so that's one, two. 
Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and we're going to be having two gray wools going across on top of these two cyan clays. So that's one, two. And it should look like this. Now, we're going to start down here from these two empty spots. We're going to switch over to the black wool, and in fact, this empty, these two empty spots and these other empty spaces up here that are just going up to the left, we're going to be filling in these empty spaces right here with the black wool. So just fill those in with the black. Now I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the cyan clay. And let's see, from here, we're going to move up to the right a bit. And we're going to be filling in only these four empty spaces here that you're looking at right now, that I'm pointing to. That's one, two, three, four. Only those four get filled in with the cyan clay. Fill those up. And it should look like that. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Now, with the gray wool, the remaining empty spaces here, that are right here, get filled in. Only the small spaces, essentially. So, just fill those small spaces with the gray. There we go. And I'll fly back a bit again. And you can see that it should look like that. So, now we're going to be switching over to the cyan clay. And we're going to be filling in only this empty space that's right here with the cyan clay for now. Let's just fill this in with the clay. I'll be honest with you that I didn't, uh, well, it's not that I didn't realize, I just forgot that we had some more outlining to do here. I thought it was just going to be the little dashes, but we're getting it done. All right, so now that we filled that in with the cyan clay, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the stone block. And with the stone block, we're going to head up here to this larger empty spot. We're going to head all the way up here to the top right corner, and we're going to start up here next to that one block of coal that's also underneath these six block of coals here. So up here next to that on the left side, we're just going to be starting from there with the stone block by placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. To get rid of those placements, head back down here, and from here we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now to close this off, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Next, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space that's up here with the gray wool. So let's just fill this in with the gray wool now. Just only fill this in. And once you've filled this in with the gray wool, we're going to be switching over to the cyan clay. And we're going to be filling in the remaining empty space that's right here with the cyan clay. Staying within the outline, of course. So let's go ahead and just fill this entire area right here. And then after that, we've got the little tiny little dashes going on from an angle. Okay, there we go. Fly back a bit, and you can see that it should look like that. So we're only going to be working on these two other empty spaces right here, and then we're going to move down there to the chest plate. I'm going to save this larger empty space for a another part. So these two here, and then down there are going to get filled in. Maybe not all the way when it comes to down there, but we'll do our best. All right, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool now, and we're going to start working down here. We're going to start from the very bottom of these two block of gold. On top of them, we're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. Oops, turn the right block out. That's two, three, and four. Let's get rid of the placement. And while we're at it, we're going to be filling in these uh, these three empty spaces here with the gray walls. Just fill those in with gray. And now we're going to head back down here, going back to where we started from these two. This time we're going to start on top of this one block of coal and place one gray wall. So that's one. Next, we're going to be switching over to the stone block. And with the stone block starting on top of the gray wall from there, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right, starting on top of the gray. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of the placement. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, 
three. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And while yeah, while we're at it, we're gonna quickly switch over to the cyan, and we're gonna be filling in this empty space here with the cyan clay. Let's fill that in. There we go. Next, we're going to be switching over to the stone block, and with the stone, let's head back over here to the left, back to where we started with the two stone blocks, starting on the left block of it. So from there, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements. And now we're going to switch over to the black wall. And with the black wall, we're only going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the black. So fill this in with the black wall. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wall. And we're going to be filling in these other four empty spaces in between the block of coal and the stone block. Fill those in with the gray wall. Let's fill this in with gray. There we go. And while we still have the gray wall out, let's head back up here to the stone block. We're going to be placing one gray wall on top of the stone block. So that's one. And then you're going to be placing another gray wool going down to the right. That's one. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the cyan clay. And on the right side of this gray wool here, we're going to be placing one cyan clay. So that's one. And also on top of it, we're going to be placing one cyan clay. So that's one. And it should look like that. Now, once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to head back down here. And we're going to head to these two stone blocks that went across on the upper level to the right. Don't get it confused with these other two stone blocks that we had down here. I'm talking about these, this right here. So starting, uh, let's see, from the left block. So starting from this, whoops, starting from the stone block that I just broke. So starting from this block here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Get rid of those placement blocks. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the placement, starting on top of this clay block here. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going to the right. That's... dang it. Alright, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two placements going to the right. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the cyan clay, starting on top of the right block of the two placements. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. So it should look like that. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the placement block again. This time we're going to start from this block here, down here, of the two that we just placed. So underneath it, so from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the right with placements. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be switching over to the cyan clay, starting on the right side of these two placements. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the gray wall. We're going to head back up here to the very top part of this empty spot. So from there, we're just going to be adding one gray wall. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the cyan clay, starting underneath the gray wall. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. And now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with a gray wool, you're going to be filling in all of the remaining empty spaces that are in here. Not, I'm not talking about any of this large space that's right there. But just all the empty spaces here with a gray wool. So let's just fill this up with gray. And then we can move on to the next large space. And then after that, we can go ahead and go down to the chest plates. Okay, let's fill this in. And there we go. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. Now we're going to go ahead and work, let's say from the bottom. It's going to be easier if we start from the, actually no, it's not. It's actually going to be e easier if we start from the top. Let's switch over to the stone block. And with the stone block, what I want you to do is, let's see, where is it? Where is it to make this a million times easier? Well, it might not be easier now that I'm looking at it. It doesn't matter where we start. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're actually going to go all the way back down here. Never mind. Never, never mind. For a second, I thought we were doing this large part, which is why I said it's going to be easier if we start from the bottom. Never mind, it's much smaller. Okay, so we're going to start off with the gray wall. So let's switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to head down here to these three block of gold. So we're going to start from the right block. So starting on top of the right, I should say. So starting from there. With the gray wall, we're going to be placing three blocks, or not three, seven blocks. Seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two... 
three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placements. And we're going to head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So three diagonal. That's one, two, three. Get rid of those placements. Head back up here, and from here, what we're going to be doing next is placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. Get rid of those placement blocks. Next, we're going to be switching over to the stone block. Now, with the stone block, we're going to start on the left side of this gray wall here. So, starting from there with the stone block, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal to the... Four diagonal up to the left. So, that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So, that's one and two. Now I'm going to fly back a bit, so you can see that it should look like that. Now what we're going to be doing is filling in all of those single small spaces that we left behind, all of those empty spaces right there. We're going to be filling that in with the stone block, so go ahead and fill that in with the stone block now. Let's go ahead and fill that in. All of these empty spaces here. There we go. So I'll fly back a bit again, so you can see that it should look like that. Okay, now comes the annoying part when it comes to adding the little dashes. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is switching over to the gray wall. And with the gray wall, let's head all the way back down here, back to where we started. This time we're going to start from these four block of holes, and we're going to start on top of the left block of these four block of holes. So starting from there, top of it, we're going to be placing three blocks going to diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. Get rid of those placements. Now, once you've done that, we're going to head over here. Yeah, let's see. Over here. Is it? Yeah, okay. Over here. Second guessing myself. Dang it. Starting on top of the right block of these four block of cults. So starting from right there, top of the right. We're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. Dude, I am just a freaking mess. I can't get freaking angles right. That's one, two, three, four. I'm breaking so many blocks by accident. Let's get rid of those placements. Fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look like this. The anger, the anger, the rage, the Batman and rage is building up inside me. Okay. So now that we have our four blocks like that, we're going to be switching over to the placement block, starting on the left side of this gray wall here that we place. We're going to be adding three placements going to the left. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wall, starting on top of the left block of these three placements. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. And now we're going to head back up here. Switching over to the placement block again. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier if we start from here. Starting on top of this gray wall here. So from there, that we just placed, we're going to be adding from here four blocks to the left with placement. So that's one, two, three, four. Then you're going to be switching over to the gray wall. Starting on top of this placement block here. Starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks now. And once again, let's head back up here. Switching over to the placement block, starting on top of this gray wall. So from there, we're going to be adding three placements to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now switch over to the gray wall, starting on the left side of the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks now. And we're going to head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be switching over to the placement block, starting on top of the gray wall. So from there, we're going to be adding four placements to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we'll switch back over to the gray wall, starting on top of this placement block here. We're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. Now let's head back up here. 
And from here, we're just going to be switching over to the placement block starting on the left side of this gray. We're going to be adding two placements to the left, uh, to one, two. Switch over to the gray wall starting on top of the placement block. So from there, we're going to be placing two grays going diagonal up to the up to the left. So that's one and two. I'll fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. All right, so what we're going to be doing next is switching it back over to the cyan clay, and we're going to be filling in the remaining of these spaces here. All of this right here, staying within the outline, of course. Let's fill all of this in with the cyan clay. And I should, probably should have time-lapsed this, but it's whatever. At this point, we've already got some of it done. Filled in, anyway. And then we're going to go ahead and start working on the chest plates. And yeah... <laughs> I don't, know else, I don't know what else to say to fill in the dead air. I mean, I hear somebody screaming in the background, it's not me. Of my recording. Okay. There we go. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. Dude, by the way, I'm also making the Joker. Just throwing that out there for those few that don't know. I'm making the Joker from Suicide Squad. So if you're going to be finishing Batman, why not also check out the Joker if it's out? If it's out already. If it's not then just be patient. But if you're watching this like a month into the future from the day it was released, then probably check it out. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We're going to go down here. Now that we filled that in, we're going to go down here to this empty spot. And we're going to start, let's see, with the stone block. In fact, this is going to be mainly just stone block when it comes to these little dashes over here on the left. And then on the right, it's going to be switching over to the cyan and gray. So we're going to switch over to the stone block, and the ideal spot to start would probably be all the way over here down to the right from these gray wools here. So starting from this gray wool on the left side of it, so from there, we're going to be adding two placements to the left, that's one, two. Then you're going to be switching over to the stone block and placing one stone block on the left side of the two placements. Put one stone block there. Let's get rid of the placement blocks now. Again, switch back over to the placement. This is going to be a thing. <laughs> Always placements because I hate those little dashes. So starting on the left side of this stone block, we're going to be adding four placements to the left, that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be switching back over to the stone block, starting on top of the left block of the four placements. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Oops, got it. That's a little mistake right there. Accidentally broke the ground. All right. So now we're going to be switching back over to the placement block. Now with the placement block, starting from this stone block here, the one that's furthest to the left, on the left side of it, so from there, we're going to be adding four placements going to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the stone block, starting on the left side of these four placements. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's get rid of the four placements. And we're going to head back to, uh, back over here to this stone block now. The one that made contact with the ground. So starting on the left side of it, we're going to be adding three placements to the left. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be switching over to the stone block, starting on top of the left block of these three. So from there, we're going to be placing two stone blocks going diagonal up to the right. So two diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. And now get rid of those placements. Now switch over to the stone block. Now, starting on top of this stone block here, again, the one that's furthest to the left, so starting from there. With the placement block, we're going to be adding four blocks going to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the stone block, starting on the left side of these four placements. So from there, we're going to be adding four, uh, three blocks going diagonal down to, the, down to the left. So three diagonal down to the left, that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. There we go. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the... Let's see. Now, we'll stay... Yeah, we'll stay with the placement block. What we're going to be doing next is, to make this a little easier on ourselves, we're going to go over here to the... These two here. I'll put placement blocks on it. Go in-depth explanation. All right, so go to those two placement blocks. Or I should say, those two stone blocks where I had the placement block. So we're here. This is our starting area. We're going to start on top of this stone block, so from there, we're going to be adding three placements going up. That's one, two, three. Next, you can switch back over to the stone block, starting from the top block on the right side of it. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. Three diagonals, so that's one, two, and three. 
let's get rid of the placement blocks now. Now, once you've done that, let's start again from the bottom block of these three here that we just placed. So, this time on the left side of it, so starting from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going to the left with placement. So, that's one, two, three. Now, switch back over to the stone block, starting the left side of these three placements. So, starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go back again to these three here, these three stone blocks. Again, starting from this block here, the bottom block of the three, this time on the right side of it. So from there, we're going to be adding three placements going to the right. So that's one, two, three. Switch over to the stone block, place one stone block on the right side of these three placements. Put one stone block there, and then from this one stone block, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. My back a bit so you can see it should look like that. So now what we're going to be doing is switching over to the placement block. Now we're going to start from this stone block here, the very last one that we just placed. Starting underneath it, so from there, we're going to be adding two placements going to the right. That's one and two. Once you've done that, switch over to the stone block, starting on the right side of these two placements. So from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So three diagonal, that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, before we continue to make this a little easier on myself when we're transferring over here to the right, uh, let's out to this stone block here. The three stone blocks that we just finished placing. Uh, it's making contact with this one gray wool. So let's go to this one gray wool that's making contact with the stone. So starting from this block, we're going to be placing two stone blocks going diagonal up to the right with stone. So that's one and two. Get rid of those placement blocks, fly back a bit, so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So now, let's switch over to the cyan stained clay, and with the cyan stained clay, we're going to be filling in this entire empty space that's right here, staying within the outline, of course. Let's just fill this in with the cyan clay. Even though I keep calling it cyan stained clay, I, I always say I'm not going to call it stained or hardened, but I always find myself half the time calling it still stained clay, so... Let's just fill this in with the signed clay, and this is going to take some time. Again, I don't feel like time-lapsing it, because it's not that large of an area. If it's a super large area, then yeah, I'll go ahead and time-lapse it, but when it comes to these, this is kind of like 50-50. It's not large, large, but it's not small either. Whatever, we'll just fill this in in real time. We're almost done. This is me venting, or not venting, what do they call it? Or vent. It is vent, right? Vent. When you're trying to buy some time, just saying nonsense, saying whatever. Alright, so there you go. When you're done filling it in, it should look like that. So we're going to go ahead and start working a little more on this area. In fact, we're going to go ahead and do an outline, a gray wool outline, because this kind of gets split here. So we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and with the gray wool, we're, we're, let's see, what we're going to be doing... Uh, let's fly up here. This is going to be easier if we do it from... Uh, actually, no. We're going to go ahead and use the center block. You should still have the center block there. If you don't, you goofed. You done goofed. You're probably not going to be able to do this. So again, you never get rid of the center block until I actually tell you when it comes to these tutorial series. So, we're going to switch over to a placement block, and we're going to be putting a placement block on the right side of the center block. So go ahead and put one placement block there. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Starting on the right side of this placement block, you're going to be placing one gray wool. So that's one. And now from this one gray wool, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one and two. Let's get rid of the placement block. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like that. So there you go. That's pretty much the center block coming in handy. All right, so now what we're going to be doing... And again, you know what? Since I'm not a mean guy... Uh, if, you, if you're having trouble, you feel like, oh my god, I got rid of this center block, I'm a dumb idiot. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and help you out there. Uh, what we're going to do next, for those rare people that uh, got rid of the center block and are panicking, let's switch over to the stone block. Now, from here, we're going to be flying to the 23 block of coals that we had going across here. So go to the 23 block of coals that we had going across, and what we're going to be doing is... Uh, heading over here to the left side, you can see that we had a linked three blocks connected to it. We're going to be placing one stone block on the right side of these linked three, so put one stone block there. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the block of coal and place one block of coal on the right side of these stone blocks. Put one block of coal there. 
Now, what you're going to be doing next is just aligning yourself up with this one block of coal, because this should be aligning itself with the center block. See, if I free fall down, I should land on the center block. So again, for those of you who got rid of the placement block, there you go. There's your reference. Put a stone block on the right side of these link three, and then put a block of coal under, or not underneath, but on the right side of that. Align yourself up, and that's where the center block should be. So if you got rid of it, you can go ahead and just replace it there, and then just do this part here. Dang it, I broke this gra uh, the grass block again. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next... You can go ahead and get rid of the center block now, we don't need it. So get rid of the center block, switch back over to the gray wool. Let's head back to these two grays, starting from the top block of these two. We're going to be placing one gray wool going up to the left. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And once you've done that, what we're going to be doing next is, let's see, to, to save ourselves some trouble, what we're going to do is actually head all the way back up here. Let's go back to that one stone block. Let's switch over to the stone block, heading uh, back up here, starting from this one block. We're going to be placing three stones going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Now for this next part, I need you to pay attention. We're going to head over here to the left. Starting from these three block of coals here, underneath the left block, we're going to be placing one gray wool. So that's one. And now from this one gray wool, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Once we've done that, we're going to head back up here to the first gray wool. So from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. So that's one. And now from this one block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. So this is going to be a lot easier now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, this is much easier. And now what you're going to be doing, I need you to pay attention. We're, what we're going to be doing is placing one block going down to the right. Don't do that now. Don't do that. If you did it, just get rid of it so you don't get confused. Just listen to what I have to say. Put one block going down to the right. Then you're going to be placing two blocks going down the right. Then one block going down to the right. Two blocks. Essentially, it's a pattern. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So put one block down to the right, two blocks down to the right, one block down to the right, two blocks down to the right, one block down to the right, two blocks down to the right, and then one block. And it should connect perfectly with the other gray wolves that we had down there. So I'm going to fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the black wool. I don't want to make this part too long. Uh, let's head all the way back over here to the left, to the gray wall that's all the way over here to the furthest to the left. So starting from this one gray wall, we're going to be placing two black walls going down on the left. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two sets of threes going down on the left. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Head back down here. And now from here, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placements. And now we're going to head all the way back up here, and we're going to be switching over to the gray wool now. Switch over to the gray wool. We're going to head back to the first two black wools that we placed, starting from the bottom block of these two. So starting from the here, we're going to be placing one gray wool going down to the right. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the black wool now. With the black wool, we're going to start from this gray wool down here. So starting from that gray wool, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. That's 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 4. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks now. And we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Let's head all the way back down here. Uh, starting from these two black wools here. On top of it, we're going to be placing one gray wool. So that's 1. Once you've done that, we're going to head to the next going up to the right. So getting heading up to the uh, next two black wools. So starting on top of it, we're going to be placing one gray wool. So that's 1. And then we're going to head up here to the next 
two. And this time, starting on top of it, we're going to be placing two Grey Wolves going up. That's one, two. And then you're going to be placing one Grey Wolf going up to the right. So that's one. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Alright, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to stop here. I'm just going to go ahead and continue and try to finish this entire part, but I don't want this part to be long. Or I should say, don't want it to upload it long. So I have to make sure I have to edit, make sure everything's good, and hopefully get it out not too, too late in the night. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue my Batman Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial in the next part. So with all of that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.